Hey everyone, Sam here. Just going to talk you through how to connect your Zero account with Next Minute. So I'm on the All Jobs screen at the moment, which is the natural uh, area of Next Minute you'll land on when you start your trial. You'll also see that I am in a trial. It's got 14 days left to try up top, which you'd expect if you started off, and all of this sample dummy data, as you see here. Now the first thing we want to do is go down to admin right at the bottom there and then navigate across to the accounting section of the admin. Now you'll see here these menus are collapsed. Accounting integration, if I left click on it, it'll expand that and show me the options. And I'm just going to left click again on zero. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to integrate my payroll at this point. So I'll, I will click no. That will connect me to uh, my Xero screen and ask me for my credentials. So I'll just enter those in now. And I've got my password here, so I'll grab that and pop it in, then click login. Now, depending on your Xero account, you may have uh, what's known as two factor authentication set up, either via an app or maybe a message that's sent to your, uh, your cell phone. I've got an app on my phone here, so I'm just going to grab a code there and pop that in. Otherwise, a, um, of course, a text message would be sent through to you. Cool. So once we've done that step, then the, uh, the next stage is if you do have multiple organizations in your Xero, is to select one of those organizations if you need to. I'm going to connect up demo company there and then go allow access. Now after that, it's going to um, direct me back into Next Minute and um, ask me to just confirm that organization, which I will, then go save. And then finally, there's uh, an area to confirm some other details. Now I would highly recommend that you do tick the box uh, that suggests you want to import your contacts into Next Minute. Also, the next one down here, where it asks you to select a account as your default for sale items. If you don't know what these accounts should be, as you see there, there's a number of them to select here, please consult with your bookkeeper or accountant. In this case, I'm just going to leave this as sales. And I do want to copy the, uh, the line item name um, from anything I'm selling in next minute. So it might be materials, labor, other items. I do want to copy that item name into the zero line item description. So I'm leaving that box ticked. Now the um, business bank account here is the one I will use for receiving payments. And I do want to use Xero's invoice numbers when I'm creating an invoice in the next minute. It just matches up the data nicely. Now, as mentioned earlier, we're not going to talk about payroll at this stage. That will be in another video. And uh, purchases here, supplier invoices, you want to choose a, a account to track your purchases. I'll leave it as the default. Now there's also the option to copy the line item name into the zero line item description for your purchases. You can choose what to do there if you'd like to copy it or not. And then obviously for uh, paying your bills, select your outgoing uh, payments account here as well. And a couple more options here. New invoice status when they arrive in your zero account. Uh, you can choose whether it's draft, submitted or authorized. Personally, I like to have them as draft because I like to see it in zero and um, just confirm it from there. And finally, sending invoices. If you do decide you want to send invoices out from next minute to your clients, you can have the system prompt you to sync at that stage. So the, the purpose of that really is, if you send an invoice out from next minute, it's going to grab an invoice number from zero before it sends it. So once you confirm these details, simply just go save there. And three dots will appear while it's importing contacts into next minute then it will be marked as enabled. You may or may not have a message that will pop up and say, please select your uh, tax defaults. I've already done mine here, which have actually been generated by Xero and imported. So be sure to set, the, uh, set those and then hit save. And um, you're all good to go. Now I'll just show you one example of what has happened with that integration. If I go to my contacts here, you'll now see that I have my customers in here and also suppliers. So if I go to all contacts, now I've got a whole lot of uh, my zero contacts in there. Hopefully that's helped. Stay tuned for the next video. Cheers.